Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, I thought it'd be fun to do something with magic this week. Our family's been reading a lot of Harry Potter, so this video was inspired by Harry Potter. And I wanted to focus on a block that can make objects disappear. So that's a great way to do some magic. So I'm going to first show you just a clip of the video I made and then break it down for you and show you how you can do some magic tricks using Scratch Jr. So here I already selected my character. I chose a wizard. Uh, and I also have, I made a castle for him, which is also under the characters, not part of the scenery. And I also selected two bats. And if I wanted to, I could go back in and I could actually rename this bat and I can name them bat one and bat two. And that might actually be a good idea. That way I can keep track of my bats. So that's bat one. And then uh, I would look for my bat number two. And I do this by clicking on it, double clicking until I'm given the option to edit it. Open new screen opens up. In the top, I can type in a new name and I can completely rename him. I can give my bats a name, but I'm just gonna call them bat one and bat two. So it is a good idea to make sure you label your characters, especially if you're using two of the same character. So now that I have my characters chosen, I went into my scenery and I chose this spooky night background with the moon and I made a nice setting for my magic trick. And here I will press the green flag to play the short video. And our wizard's going to start by saying, Expelliarmus, bats disappear. And sure enough, I'll be back, so will I, and they disappear. The castle is safe once again, the wizard says. And he goes forward and then moves back and disappears into the castle. So you can also use this disappearing block to make it look like someone is going in or coming out of a building. So it's useful for making objects disappear, but also for making people appear like they were any character, appear like it is going, entering, or exiting a building or a rocket ship. So let's take a look at the code I used for this. So let's start with the wizard. Remember he said each character has their own set of directions, their own code, and he is the main character. We click the green flag. He does the first action. He says Expelliarmus, and then he jumps kind of to activate his spell. And then he sends a message to both bats. And if you go back to the, click on the bats, you'll see they both start by receiving that message from the wizard. And bat one waits three seconds. He disappears and says, I'll be back. I might want to increase my weight blocks. I'll just give him a little bit more time. Uh, so this is a timer, so you can make characters wait. And then here is the disappearing block that we're talking about today. And bat number two also waits a little longer and says, so will I, he disappears. And then he sends a message back to the wizard. And this wizard, this message, the red message, now activates the wizard to respond. I have him wait three seconds or three moments and then he says the castle is safe once again he moves forward nine steps up one and shrinks down and eventually disappears into the castle so let's take a look at these blocks if we go into our purple blocks we know here we've used the speech block before uh, and here are our shrinking and growing blocks and you can make them shrink and grow you can choose I have them set at six shrinking sizes I'm not sure how that's measured, but you can change the number to play around with it. Uh, and here we have the disappear and reappear. So these are really fun blocks to play around with. And uh, I'd love to see a magic trick that you can come up with using these blocks. Uh, maybe you can make a character disappear into a house or a building and reappear, come out. If I wanted to, I actually could also make this castle disappear. I didn't give the castle any directions, but I actually could actually make the entire castle disappear. So anything that is listed as a character can also be made to appear or disappear. So that also could be fun with objects. So think about a magic trick you might like to try using these blocks, share it with me. And I'd love to see what magical ideas you come up with using Scratch Jr.